welcome back to another initial speed. I'm your host, Phil. So I have a 2003 VW Beetle a GL model, but this will work for, I believe, any of the first generation or the new Beetle Beetles. Uh, so I believe it's 98 through 2010. I didn't see much information online about uh, removing the pollen filter, cabin filter, so we're going to make a video about it, show you guys, and hopefully if any of you have any problems, this is uh, the solution. All right, so this is the dash. First thing you want to do is you want to put some weight on it and push it back, pop it back. It just slides out of place. You will see that uh, I've already removed the screws. I'm actually in the process of putting everything back together, but I'm going to show you how to remove it. So once that shield or top is removed, you've got three screws on the top, pull those, and then everything is a clip. So watch the windshield that you don't break it because you do have to pull up on it pretty aggressively. Don't be too scared. Like that. And then once you get it to this position, you've got to pull it. And the reason why is because you've got these two nubs and they slide into two holes down here. Uh, in my case, I needed to disconnect the, uh, the speakers. Then you put the top aside. Then you've got another plate on top here. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six screws and i believe those are uh torx bits so that's uh t20s once you've done that you've got to pull up on this especially if your vehicle hasn't been done in a long time don't forget the sun is beating down on this you've got a rubber gasket around this piece so you've got to pry up on it don't be too aggressive but you'll you'll feel what i'm talking about once that is out you slip it back you've got to play with it a little bit to get it out at least that's what I found. And then once that piece is out, <clears throat> then you've got access to your pollen filter, cabin filter. That one is a bit of a pain in the butt as well to remove. There are half arrow heads um, down here, so you can pull back on that uh, tab and then use your thumbs to pop up the actual bracket that holds the filter in. I know this is not the greatest angle, but uh, I'm going to try to get you in here so you can see what I'm talking about. So there's the dash, the part that's that covers everything. Here's the filter. Uh, you still can't see the arrowheads. Anyway, you pull those back, you grab the uh, housing, and you tug at it. Now, I removed the screws that hold this piece. Um, it does give you a little bit more room because then you can manipulate this a little bit, but it is very, it's in there very tight. So you've got to pull and then slide it out and then pull and slide because it's tucked in this little corner. I don't know why they didn't just move it more central. And once you've got that pollen filter out, the casing comes out with it, the edge. Um, you will see that the corners are tucked into, oh, you can't, are tucked into the filter the on both sides. The edges just kind of tuck into one of the fins on the filter. Throw that out, you put the new one in, then you've got to play with it a little bit to get it back in here. Make sure you've got three tabs on the back. Make sure that those are pointed to the back. You feed those in, you smack it down, the arrowheads or the half arrowheads will uh, lock this in place. Then everything in reverse. You put that cover back on top, screw that down, you put the you plug back in your speaker, and then you put that other piece back on, you pop it down, then you do those three bolts, and then you slide the top back on, and it will be finished, finito. The thing is, it's not hard to do, it's just time consuming, especially if you don't know what you're doing. But now you do, so let us know uh, down below if you have any problems. Uh, I would like to hear of your stories of how much fun it was. <sighs> All right, well, for me, it's time to put everything back together, screw everything down, and move on to the next project.
all done.